Okay, for this video, we're gonna be talking about 5NBT1. And this standard says that you recognize that in a multi-digit number, a digit in one place represents 10 times as much as it represents to its right, and one-tenth of what it represents in the place to its left. All right, so essentially what students need to know for this is place value. They need to know that the decimal point is their point of reference. Behind the decimal, decimal point, we have the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousandths. To the left, we have the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and a comma. We have the thousands, we have the ten thousands, the hundred thousands, and from there we go on to the millions, ten millions, hundred millions. For the standard, students need to understand that a digit to its right, you're dividing by ten, so that makes it one tenth less. And a digit to its left is ten times bigger. Okay, let me put that into a different perspective for you. All right, here is this place value chart. Let's just say that I had 55,555 and 555 thousandths. That would mean that the five in the ones place is 10 times bigger than the five in the tenths place. And the five in the tenths place is 10 times bigger than the five in the hundredths place. And the five in the hundredths place is 10 times bigger than the five in the thousandths place. We could also continue this on over here, that the five in the tens place is 10 times bigger than the five in the ones. The five in the hundreds is 10 times bigger than the five in the tens. The five in the thousands is 10 times bigger than the five in the hundreds. And the five in the ten thousands place is 10 times bigger than the five in the thousands place. So what does that mean? All right, what that means is this, okay? Let's just say I asked you the value of the five in the tens place. The value of the five in the tens place is 50. Well, now we're comparing it to the value of the five in the ones place. The five in the ones place is five. 50 is 10 times bigger than five. Now we could do this vice versa, all right? We could do it the opposite way. Now, let's say that I asked you to go the other way. Well, we've said that going to the right, it's 10 times bigger than a digit to its right, 10 times bigger than the digit to its right, 10 times bigger than the digit to its right. But what if we were going left? That would mean that the five in the thousandths place is one-tenth of the five in the hundredths place. And the five in the hundredths place is one-tenth of the five in the tenths place. And the five in the tenths place is one tenth smaller than the five in the ones place. And the five in the ones place is one tenth smaller than the five in the ones place. The five in the tens place is one tenth smaller than the five in the hundreds, and so on and so forth. Now let's do this the opposite way. We've already said that the value of the five in the tens place is 50. The value of the five in the ones place is five. Now let's compare the five in the ones to the five in the tens. The five in the ones is one tenth smaller than the five in the tens. And the five in the tens place is 10 times bigger than the five in the ones. Now let's find the value of the five in the hundredths place and the five in the thousandths place. The five in the hundredths place has a value of 
five hundredths, or we could also write it as a decimal. The five in the thousandths place has a value of five thousandths, or we could also write that as a decimal. Now let's pretend that I asked you to compare these values. The five in the hundreds place is 10 times bigger than the five in the thousandths, which means that the five in the thousandths place is one tenth less than the five in the hundredths place. Let's try it one more time. Let's compare the five in the thousands place to the five in the ten thousands place. Well, first thing you need to do is find the value. What's the value of the five in the ten thousands place? The value is 50,000. Now we need to find the value of the five in the thousands place. It has a value of 5,000. So now we can compare. 50,000 is 10 times bigger than 5,000, which means that 5,000 is one-tenth smaller than 50,000. So that's kind of where we're going here. And if we want to take it a little bit further, we can also do it like this. Let's pretend that I had 555 and 55 thousandths. And I asked you to compare the value of the five in the hundreds place to the value of the five in the ones place. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is find the value of the five in the hundreds place. And it has a value, a course of 500. What's the value of the five in the ones place? The value is five. Now I want you to compare those two values. Well, 500 is 100 times bigger than five, which means that five is one-tenth smaller than 500. All right, let's try one more. 22 and 13 hundredths. I want you to compare the values of the twos. So the first thing you're gonna do is find the value of the two in the tens place. It has a value of 20. And then find the value of the two in the ones place. It has a value of two. 20 is 10 times bigger than two, which means that two is, you guessed it, one-tenth of 20. It's important that students understand the relationship between the left being 10 times bigger and the right being one-tenth smaller to division and multiplication. It's very important. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna show you some sample items that are gonna be on their state test. All right, this is a sample item straight from the state test. Make sure it don't have a glare. It says, which number has a five that is one-tenth the value of the five in 522 and 12 hundredths? So the first thing that I would teach my students to do on their scratch work is to write down that number, 522 and 12 hundredths. It has asked me which number has a five that is one-tenth the value of the five in this number. Well, what is the value of that five? The value of that five is 500. But it's asking me, what is one-tenth of 500? According to my standard, the digit to the right is one-tenth of. So we're looking for a five in the tens place. So let's look at our answer choices. 225, well that five is in the ones, so that's not right. 351, well that five is in the tens place, so I need to think about B. 372 and 533 thousandths. Well that five is in the tenths place. That's after the decimal. That's way too small. 497 and 154 thousandths. That five is in the hundredths place. That's even smaller. Therefore, the correct answer to this problem is B. 
The five in the tens place is one tenth smaller than a five in the hundreds place. Okay, let's try one more problem. This one's a little bit different. It says, which statement describes the relationship between the value of the number, a value of four in the number 5,347,129 and the value of the four in the number 4,823,165. So of course, the first thing I would teach my students on their scratch work is to write down those two numbers. 5,347,129, five. My problem specifically is asking me about the values of the fours. So I need to find the values of the fours. This four is in the decimal, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So it has a value of 40,000. The four in this number has a value of decimal, ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million. So it has a value of four million. Now, I need to figure out how much bigger 4 million is than 40,000. And I can do this in several different ways. Um, the shortcut would be to ask myself, how many more zeros are in 4 million than in 40,000? Well, 40,000 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm sorry. And 4 million has 6. So, 4 million has two more zeros in it than 40,000, so I'm working with the number 100. So I'm either gonna say that 40,000 is one one hundredth of four million, or four million is 100 times bigger than 40,000. Or students could refer back to their place value chart and know that the millions place is 100 times bigger than the 10,000s place, which means the 10,000s place is one one hundredth of the millions place. So now we need to find an answer choice that matches what we know, all right? So the four in this first number, it's in the 40 thousands place, okay, the 10 thousands place, is one tenth of the millions? No. The 10 thousands place is one one hundredth of the millions place? Yes, so so far I need to remember B. The four in the ten thousands place is ten times. That means bigger than the millions place. So is ten thousand bigger than one million? No. So that means that D is absolutely wrong because ten thousand is not a hundred times bigger than four million. So we could automatically say C and D are wrong. That leaves me with my correct answer of B. That is pretty much exactly how to do the standard 5 NBT1. Um, we really need to know our place value, and this is one thing I tell my students all the time, decimal, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. And we need to remember the TH. Tenths. Hundreds. The TH means I'm dealing with a decimal. Now we're going with the rest of our place value. Decimal, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, so on and so forth. So I hope that this uh, video has really helped you understand the 5 MBT1 standard knowing that a digit to the left is 10 times bigger than a digit to its right, and the digit to the right is one-tenth of or one-tenth smaller than the digit to its left.